Well, you know, sometimes I would I would break the rules a little bit. So one of the so-called rules was no unmotivated moves. Like, you know, the car the camera didn't sort of pan arbitrarily or move arbitrarily because you wanted to see what was here and you wanted to move over to there. Mm -hmm. Things that needed to be motivated. You were either following a character or something dramatic happened that sort of almost forced the, the camera movement. And so, you know, sometimes I might do something to break that rule or sometimes I would, um, I really like tableaus and sometimes I would just create tableaus that might not immediately go to the documentary style that the show had, but if I could find a way to integrate that with the style so you didn't really feel like I was sort of stepping outside the style, I think it enhanced the show. So, you know, but 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 mostly, you know, I was trying to find ways of of using what was a very dynamic style to tell the stories that 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 had been written um and and hopefully just got better at that just hopefully got better at at, at at creating that sense that you were right there i think i think converse to what i just said i i i just also i think there were times when i i went deeper into the style i mean i did an episode called stan the man where you know, I felt like it was sort of very Scorsese-like in a way, the way I approached it, where it was deep doc documentary style where I really wanted you to feel like, my God, we're just watching something happen for real on life and we're just observing it and it's a little chaotic, but we're trying to stay focused on where the action is and it, it may be changing. We're just trying to find it, you know, uh, as opposed to it having even having even less of a of a of a sort of a documentary choreography that we would create all the time um and i thought that was really effective i thought that was a very effective episode you know so um it was a great it was a great laboratory i have to say that show was i think for so many directors who came in um the long lenses we were using the foreground pieces that we were using uh the uh, seeing with the, with the way the cell, set, uh, the uh, sets were built so that you, with the glass, so you would actually be able to see almost three different spaces at once and action everywhere and bringing action from way over there all the way up to the foreground. I mean, there were so many things that we were learning. I, I just think it spawned a lot of directors, enhanced a lot of people who had been doing it for a while. And, you know, in its way, changed the face of television for, for that time. So, yeah, I learned a lot.